Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the Cow Whispers Creative Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Oh, looky, looky, looky. We are going to be making a masculine card today. And this card was created by one of the members on my team, Brenda Snow. Love this card. Yes, I do. Isn't it adorable? And she used the Best Catch bundle, which includes the Best Catch stamp set and the Catch of the Day dies and brought in the net from the Sea of Textures. These two stamp sets go perfectly together. What a fun card. We're going to actually change it up just a little bit. As always in the top of the eye and below in the description, you'll find link back to my blog post with all the measurements and the supplies so you can purchase these items easily. Now she has used her Thick Whisper White for her cattails and colored those in with her stamping blends. I will tell you, I'm going to go ahead and cut those out of my cardstock and just color the tops of them and we'll color our fish. And we're going to die cut the fish out and there's the cattail dies. So let's just go ahead and get those out and ready. And let's just get busy. So right off, let's go ahead. You can tell I have been stamping and working hard. We're gonna go ahead and use the soft suede and do our net. So let's stamp that. We're just gonna kinda do two of them. We're just gonna overlap it because our fish is gonna go over the top of that so you won't see where that overlaps. I am gonna change up the sentiment. Both of these sentiments do come from the best catch. She put for your dad. I'm going to use, now let's get this thing straight. We don't want that crooked as a dog sign leg. It's your day up here in the top. That's crooked, I don't like crooked. Let's try it again. You guys know me, I'm all about keeping it real. So let's go again, pivot. And again, let's see if I can do a better job. Everybody hold your mouth right. And I tried really hard. Let's see what we get. Much better, much better. And then on the inside, you see where she has stamped the fish hook. We're also gonna go ahead and just stamp that in our soft suede. And yes, you can color over. I'm using the thick Whisper White cardstock, of course. So we've got that done. And last but not least, we're gonna bring in our Memento Tuxedo Black to stamp our fish. And then we're gonna do a little blends work. Super, super simple though. So let's just put our fish here. Hold that on our thick whisper white for just a second so it's good and absorbed. There we go. I hope you have this stamp set perfect for all the fishermen in your life. Now, let's see what we did here. She went with the old olive and soft suede. So we'll do the same. Let's do our leaves real quick. Very light touch. And of course, you can use any colors you would like. I'm using the thick side of my blends. Don't panic if it's not perfect. It's all good. It's all good. All right, and then I'm gonna do my little stripes. Trying to use a very, very light touch. I could also use the bullet point. Now I'm gonna bring in my light Cajun craze. I'm just adding a little color is all I'm doing. So you could make this a Father's Day card. You could make it a birthday card or guess what how about just a, a just because card those are good too all right now let's cover our fish so let's go and just touch the dots with our cajun craze 
This is actually such a quick card to create. You may think, okay, that's going to be complicated. No, trust me, it's not. It's not complicated at all. All right, so we've done that. I'm going to bring in my light balmy blue and just do around the eye. Just like such. And like I said, we're doing blends work, so don't worry if it kind of goes outside the line. It's all good. Now let's bring in our dark old olive. And we're going to hit some of the areas where the designer has actually got those more shading. You see what I mean? Right around the bottom of the fins. And you're always welcome to do what tickles your own fancy. Here's our light. Now we're going to start just making small circles to kind of blend that up. And you guys have heard me say this before. If you're not happy with your blending, then you need to continue to blend. Chances are you stopped too soon because you want that alcohol to blend together, hence the name. So just kind of come over it. Let that alcohol soak in. And you know what? You're not going to get two that are identical. And that's all all right. Pivot your paper to make it simple on your self and easier on your hands. See how I'm just kind of going right over the top of that Cajun craze? Continuing to pivot. See what I mean about this is a simple card? Very easy. Let's do the tail. Just like that. Now I want that to blend a little more. So you see how I continue to go back over that. Go to a different area. Do a little blending. That's what's going to give you all your tones. Come back to this area. Now you see what I mean. That's what gives you all that extra visual texture and our last step what taking the Cajun craze and just kind of going along this line just like that and you know what I'm going to come down this side too there we go now I've got myself a piece of scrap Old olive for my cocktail, so I'm going to cut that and my fish out. I'm going to cut two of these out, and I'll be right back. Okay, got them cut out. And if you'll notice, the fish, the fin actually pops up, so just bend that. It's going to give you a little texture. Yes, it will go flat in the actual envelope, but it's still going to have that texture there. Let's get those little things popped out. Let's take our bronze. Is that what I chose here? No, dark soft suede is what I've got here. Because I wanted to go with the netting. And I'm just going to color the top of my cactails. Just like that. So you can see where Brenda actually, in her design, did Whisper White and used shading with her old olive blend. So you decide which one works best for you. We've got that done. How quickly is this card coming together? So I changed it up. I have old olive for my base and let's make sure we get our straight one. I'm going to use Cajun Craze for my first layer. So let's put that down. And I like that she chose to go with a wider border for this card. I just think it it looks really good. Get that straight. Let's go ahead and add our cocktails to the bottom. Don't need to overdo it. Just put a little bit of adhesive. I'm going to start with one over here because remember... This is 
this is gonna hang off, but that's because I've got the whole base of my card yet to go. Father's Day's around the corner. And there's birthdays all year long. And how about just because? Just because you wanna send somebody, a great guy in your life, a card. Adorable. Okay, let's put this down on our card base. Get it good and centered up. You can always put this down before because I got pretty close there. But it's all good. Let's go ahead and do the inside while we have our adhesive out. Pretty quick, wasn't it? I love that fly fishing hook. Yes, I do. Okay, now we need to bring back our fish and we're going to bring in some dimensionals and pop that fish right up. And put one right there because the this one actually bends in a little. That one bends in a little. So let's just Slap that down on there. Now here's where we cover up the center of that. And our last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our iridescent sequence. And this is an assortment pack and I'm trying to get it open without having an oh my gosh moment. Let's get our take your pick tool and some glue dots. And let's just go ahead and put our glue dots down. Would help if I'd use the right end. So I'm just gonna put those down. One more, working odd numbers. You could go five, I'm going three, okay? Now I'm looking for my, the ones that are kind of that green and I can just stick them right on top. You see how that works? Kind of knew where I wanted them. Just taking the putty end. That one's flipped upside down. Oh. That one's kind of funky. Some of them are bigger than others. There we go. And I need one more. There's one. Oh my gosh, so cute and fast. Look how fast that was. And if you wanted to, you could actually add you some lines in here, like with your blends. If you wanted to just, you know, just add a little character, you can do that too. Remember, you need to do what makes you happy. This is your creation. Oh, I like that. Yes, I do. So there you go. Look how I just reversed the colors. So remember, what did we use? We used the Sea of Texture stamp set for the net and the Best Catch bundle, which includes the stamp set and the Catch of the Day dies. Let's put these back on here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you get notified when I have new videos that post. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.